knows your name.
Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God, hallelujah. Thank you. Come on now. Yay, God, yay, God. Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. yay, yeah, yeah, Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yay, yeah, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He didn't say a thing about Job when he was walking up and down 
He didn't say, you know, I see Job over there, but you won't let me touch him. God had him here, and then all of a sudden, look, the wind changed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All of a sudden, Hallelujah. the wind changed. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And then all of a sudden, God said, now, I know you said you've been going Thank you, Lord. Down. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Who you made about. Hallelujah. But there's a man that's coming up right. Yes. Right. Hallelujah. And you consider him. <laughs> Woo. Mm. You know, sometimes God puts us out there saying, now, have you considered Alba Harris? Hallelujah. Have you considered you don't choose your battles, good God Almighty. They choose you. Thank you. He wasn't Hallelujah. looking for a fight. Come on now. Joe wasn't looking for a fight. No. He was minding his own business, praying for all the children that he had, making dinner for them, preparing them for when he was going on with the Lord. Mm -hmm. He fasted and prayed for every last one of them. Yes, he did. He was looking for a fight, but guess what? The fight came to him. Hallelujah. Jesus. What would you do if you could pick your own battles? Woo! My, 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 my. You can't pick your own battles in this walk. Hallelujah. Glad to see you, Sister Lisa. Sister Natalie. Where's the oh there she is. Hallelujah. Can't pick your own battles. When you think all oh, things are going beautiful. Ooh. When you think, guess what? I, I got all my kids in church. I got this one and I'm fasting and praying for that one. And, and I, and I get up early in the morning and I bless all my children. And you didn't know a conversation was going on in heaven saying, have you considered? Ooh, you the one Satan is putting me against Job. Why do you want me to put me against Job? He's a perfect and he's an upright man. But I got to use him for my glory. Yes. Good God Almighty. Yes. He's perfect and is upright. But guess what? Have you considered Job was an upright man? He had not sinned just to be sinning. But here comes the battle. Ooh. And, and he didn't pick that. He would never have picked that. He would never brag and say, oh, you know what, I got it going on. I ain't got worried about Satan. My children, they all saved. They all sanctified. And I pray. If they're not, then I thank to pray for them. Every last one of them, the girls and the boys. And they were out having a party at their brother's house. Couldn't come. Didn't have a care in the world because they knew their daddy was praying for them. They knew that their daddy could test, take the test. Woo, glory to God. So if you just, so what I ask you today, possession yourselves. Because your battle's coming. Why? Because God is bragging on you. Right, all right. He's bragging on you. And he'll tell Satan, you know, I heard what you said, but you know what? You ain't considered my high sounding saints. You ain't considering the ones that worship. You ain't considering those that praise your name, that turn their plates down. You're not even considering. I didn't think that you would let me get to them. But guess what? The ones you think that the devil won't bother, that's the one God said, have you considered? Mm. Guess what? 
She's a perfect and he's a perfect and he's an upright man. Mm. Have you considered that? Yeah, but you got a hedge all around. Mm. And I can't get to him. Good my God Lord. Almighty. My Can Lord. you imagine? Mm. You got a hedge around him and I can't get over it. I can't get around it. I can't go under it. If you remove that hedge, then I'll make him curse you to your face. Mm. So Job, and then here come the enemy. But what did he say? You know what? The Lord give it, and the Lord take it away, and blessed be the name of the Lord. That's what he said. Hallelujah. The Lord give it. And when his friends deserted, he said, you know what? I'm going to wait till my change comes. Yes. I'm going to wait till Jesus comes and see about it. I'm going to wait on, I'm going to lay here in sackcloth and ashes, and I'm going to ask God what this is all about when I talk to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Though he slay me, yet shall I trust in God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Though he slay me. You can't pick. If, if you could pick your battles, all of you would have been off church to church all the time. There's a battle going on in the spirit. Mm, and if you could have picked one, you would have picked a little itty bitty one. And you would hide out around the shrubbery, around what God had up there for you. T turn with me to Exodus 3, verse 8. And you know what? That wasn't even my message, y'all. Uh -oh. Part 1. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Ooh, glory. Are you ready? Thank you, Jesus. Exodus 3 and 8. In order to get something from God, you either got to go up and get it for yourself or contact somebody that can get a praise through and they'll take you up. You can't do it by yourself. Sometimes you just feel weak. And, and you think you can't accomplish anything, but if you can get a hold of somebody, that's what I like. You ain't got to do it. You just got to get a prayer warrior. You got to get somebody to stand in the gap for you. You might be weak, but if, if you can, if I can just call, if I can get my numbers to work, I'll get called on out of Harris. My Lord. I, I'll call on Mona. And let's or Sister Karen. Right. Don't, 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 don't. You might have me, but guess what? I've got a straight line mm. to glory. And his line is never busy. He don't put me on hold. Mm. I don't have to wait for a recording. Wow, well, you have reached heaven. <laughs> the, the, he's busy right now. Can I take a message, please? That's the angel answering the phone. He's busy right now with uh, Elder Tony, so he'll come back to you as soon as he can. If you will leave your number, he'll call you back later. He'll come a day or two go by. You ain't heard nothing. Mm. Wait a minute, I just called there the other day, mm -hmm. and I still ain't got no answer from God. <clears throat> you got to wait on him. But guess what? He's coming. Be busy for you. If you call on him, and if you don't feel like calling on him, call somebody else. Mm. Call somebody. Don't don't play with it. Don't play. If God, when God, when you call on God, and you are God's child, and you can't get the words right, you ever been that way? I can't, I'm hurt and I just can't get my words right. I, I, I can't get it right. And then all of a 
of a sudden, the Holy Ghost will put it in your spirit. Call so and so. Amen. And before you call, he'll tell that person so and so needs prayer. When they call, you say, oh, you were already in my spirit. God already put you in my spirit Amen. before you called. And they're already ready for you. Good God Almighty. Yes. And you begin to stand in the gap, hallelujah, for that person. We need each other. Hallelujah. If you crying and always upset, then call your everybody needs a prayer for you. Amen. You don't feel right all the time. Oh, you, you, but if you got a prayer partner mm -hmm. who can reach out to God and hear your needs and, and know you're not begging and pleading, but you're asking because God said you could ask. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, trust God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Three and eight, please. Mm -hmm. And Moses went up. Mm -hmm. And whenever you spend time with God, it makes a difference. You can tell people that spend time with God. They don't look the same. They come away with a different look on their faces. So I went to the uh, nail salon Oh my God, the ladies were in there showing off. You know how people, we do sometimes, showing off. And when, as I was walking in, the lady said, let's change our conversation. Somebody's coming in that I believe she's saved. We're going to change our conversation. We, 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 we. And when I got in there, I said, Guess what, lady? We changed our conversation when you walked in. We saw you coming. And we, ch I mean, she, she told me, I saw you coming. And right away, I told these girls, oh, we got to change our conversation. And, and, and I almost got tired of everything was, right, Miss Carolyn? <laughs> And I got that right, Miss Carol. That's just a Christian, right? Miss Carol. The whole time, I think the lady, the people on the place took me early so I could get out of there. That's the truth. Everything was Miss Carol. Miss Carol, isn't that right? We're respecting you, Miss Carol, because you know, we know you're a woman of God. She didn't know me from Adam. But everything was Miss Carol. But when you spend time with God, you do not look the same. You might not feel that you're different, but once you spend God time with God, people recognize that there's an aurora about you that's not the same. You look different. You're not the same as everybody else. You can't act like everybody else. There's something about you that makes separate you from the goats. Come on now. Separate you. Read that for me, Brother Lee. And I am come down. And I come down. To deliver them mm -hmm. out of the hand of the Egyptians. So if somebody come down, that means they were once up. Mm -hmm. Right? right? And he came down, and he came down from heaven yes. to check on them. So when he said now, all right, keep on, brother. Lee. And to bring them up. And out, to bring you up. Out of that land. Come on now. And when you bring somebody up that said you are mounted up with wings. Mm -hmm. Come on now. You, you got your wings on. You're going to mount up. With wings of eagles. And also he said, you he's going to exalt you. To cause you to go up. And up means Ela. Ela, that's the Hebrew word or the Jewish word for up. A-L-A-H. Mm -hmm. And it means elevation. To take you up. So so God is saying right here that I, I'm coming down to bring you up. Mm -hmm. 
you are not going to be the same when I get finished with you. Come on, come on, read on. To bring them up. To bring you up. Out of that land. Out of that land. Unto a good land. Unto a good land. And a large. A large land. Unto a land flowing with milk and honey. Mm -hmm. Unto the place of the Canaanites. Mm -hmm. And the Hittites. Mm -hmm. And the Amorites. Mm -hmm. And the Perizzites. Come on. And the Hivites. And the Jebusites. So it does not matter who is against you. As long as God is for you. I don't care how it looks or how what people say in their own mind. They cannot overpower the glory of God that lives inside of you. My Lord. I'm, it, it just ain't going to happen. Because God said greater is he mm. that is within you. That he that is in the world. I don't care how crazy you talk. You can act crazy all day long. But when the Holy Ghost shows up. When God shows up. He supersedes all of those crazy things you say. They can say well you know I'm just drunk that's all. I didn't understand. Oh, yeah. The Holy Ghost supersedes every drunkenness, every high, whatever it is. You say, oh, I can't understand. Oh, yes, you can. The Holy Ghost can penetrate any darkness. Any darkness that's there, the Holy Ghost brings light to it. You might think, well, uh, just like Elder Harris when you see Brian. Still talking crazy. But the Holy Ghost is in. She took the keys with her. She took the word of God with her. And at this very moment, God opens the door and says, Now, you can either walk into it, good God Almighty, or you can turn your back on it. But I'm going to give you the opportunity for the gates to be open. Amen. Hallelujah. You can talk crazy all you want to, but I'm going to tell you, nobody wants to die before their time. It is, it's their liar if they say they do. Come on now. All right, read verse. You know, in this, the temple was up on the mountain. So God came down as far as as the mountain. He didn't come down on the ground. So Moses had to go up to meet God. And as Moses went up, God exalted him. So this, so in the top of this mountain was actually a church. That's where God dwelt. It was a temple that God had prepared for himself. And it was located on the mountain and it was a sanctuary that when you had to go up to reach the church come on yeah. so when we come to church we need to go up yeah. Yeah. don't need to yeah. sit around on the ground come on when you watch you come yeah. in here go up yeah. your sanctuary is up yeah. this is just the building but we want to go up and receive God. He got something for you. Don't just sit around while I made it in the door. Why you got to go up? Come on. It's not, not just because you come in the door don't mean you made it in. You got to go up. Leave some things behind me. Get up there where you need to be. That's where the blessings are. Come on now. Don't miss out on your blessings. You got to go up to God. When you come in, go to Exodus 34, please. 27 through 35. When you come into the sanctuary, oh, I made it here. I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy. You know why? Because that's just the first step. When you come in the door, that's your first step. What 
once you start raising your hand up and begin to worship, and then God will elevate you yeah. to a different place. Yeah. Come on now. You don't stay the same way once you start worshiping and praising. God will begin to elevate you to take you up. He will mount up. When you worship God, it's power in your worship. Come on. You don't want to praise God. That's power in your worship. That's how you go up. That's how you get elevated. Come on. That's how you mount up. Yes, yes. Ayla. Mount up. We didn't just come to sit. I come to praise God. I come to tell God, Lord, I love you. Yes, hallelujah. You good to me. You are faithful, God. You are faithful, God. I love you, God. I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. I didn't just come to say hi. Ooh. I didn't just come in here to say, what she got on today. I didn't come for that. I came to lift him up Amen. higher. Because when I go up with the praises, God will come down. Hallelujah. Because he abides in your praises. Come on. He's in your praises. He's in your worship. He's in your praises. When you want to start God abides in your praise. He goes where a praiser is. I don't care where it is. When you start praising God, God say, I got to go down. Good God Almighty. When Moses, when he wanted Moses, Moses had to go up. He wouldn't meet Moses on his turn. I'm going to come down and meet you to the mountain. Then Moses, you got to go up. You got to go up to meet me. Come on now. I'm just not going to show myself to you. Come up, Moses. Hallelujah. Come up. Come up. Come on, Brother Lee. 27. Mm -hmm. 34. Exodus. Yes, read that for me. And the Lord said, and the Lord said unto Moses, mm -hmm. Write thou these words, mm -hmm. for after the tenure of these words, I had made a covenant with thee and with Israel. And he was there with the Lord. Look how many, how long he stayed there. Come on. Forty days and forty, 40 nights. Days oh and forty oh nights. My Lord. That's how long he stayed mm. with the Lord. Come on. All right. Read verse 29. And it came to pass mm -hmm. when Moses when Moses came down from came Mount Sinai down from Mount Sinai with two tables with two tables and commandments of testimony mm -hmm. Come on. in Moses' hand in Moses' hand when he came down from the mount when he came down from the mount that Moses mm -hmm. wist not that the skin of his face shone Moses changed. Come on. While he talked with him. Jesus, come on. Mm. And when Aaron mm -hmm. and all the children of Israel mm -hmm. saw Moses, mm -hmm. behold, the skin of his face shone. The skin of his face shone. And they were afraid to come nigh. And they were afraid of Moses. Good mm -hmm. God Almighty. Mm -hmm. When Lord. you spent time. Now we just come off of this fast. Why? Because we want to go up. And you can't go up without worship and praise. That's the key to it. That's the plane that will lift off and take you higher. Come on now. That's how you go up with worship and praise and a sincere heart. Don't play with God because he knows your heart. You can do a whole lot of hollering and spitting and whatever you want to do, but if your heart has a big change, you just look crazy. You just look crazy. I'm not talking about people that's for real. I'm talking about people playing. You just look crazy. Oh yeah, I saw, oh, she's just crazy. Don't play with God. 
Yeah. Hallelujah. Moses spent time with God 40 days and 40 nights. And when he came down, ooh, he didn't even look like the man mm. that he went up there. That's what God will do for you. You want it? Isn't that um, Sister Sabrina? It looks it's similar. She used to. I don't know if that's her or not. Her face don't even look the same. And you might have. Go, are you Sister Sabrina who I used to go to church with? Uh, you don't look the same. What's what happened to you? I knew you win. What what what's what's going on, girl? You don't look the same. When you spend time with God, He will change your attitude. People say, "Well, it don't matter what's on the earth." So all He did with Moses, and He did with God, he, because people recognize that glow. They recognize it, and when you come out shining. Good God Almighty, when you come out looking like a different person, it's just like the Spirit said, my soul looked back and wondered, could have my face change? Ooh, Aaron, what do you see? I see a man shining that looks like God. Hallelujah. Moses was so powerful, God gave him his own prophet. Good God Almighty. So powerful. Say, Harry, you be his prophet. He was a power. He was a bad man. Good God Almighty. He was so powerful that God said, you know what? Somebody with this kind of power need their own prophet. Woo! So he gave him his own prophet. And that was Harry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And in Matthew, we're not going to go there. Matthew 17 and 1, when Jesus bringing up the disciples on the high mountain. And he talked with God. And Jesus was transfigured like Moses. Jesus looked white and sparkling and clean after he was up. When you spend time with God. Ooh, you're not the same. They said Jesus' face shine just like the sun. Hallelujah. His face was shining. When you spend time with God, people don't, if you don't, people don't see a change. So what church you go to? I go, honey. I go to a man you come to church. Oh, I heard about that church. What are they doing there? Oh, we like to praise and worship God. So you're like up on a higher plane. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We, we're up. God takes us up every Sunday morning. Hallelujah. And so, let's go to Exodus 19 and 3. I'm almost done. Hallelujah. This is when you spend, you don't have to tell God people that you spend time with God. Because people can tell by the way that you act that you've been with God. Isn't that the truth? Amen. I mean, we don't, we've been on a fast devil about 14 days, and then maybe some. And nobody had to ask you if you've been fasting. Something different about you. You're handling your problems a little bit differently than what you did before you went all that fast. God hears you when you call on him, and it makes a difference in your life when you trust God. All right, read for that for me. I know I'm trying to get 19 you. and 3? Yes, please. And Moses went up, went up unto God. There you go. And the Lord called unto him. Out of the mountain. Out of the mountain. Saying, <laughs> Thus shall there say to the house of Jacob, Good God Almighty. And tell the children of Israel, mm -hmm. 
Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians. You saw what I did to your enemies. And how I bear you. And how I carried you. On eagle's wings. On eagle's wings. And on, brought you unto and myself. And I brought you unto myself. My Lord. Come on. Now therefore. Therefore. If ye will obey if, my if, voice. And you notice he said if. Mm -hmm. He gave you a choice. That you don't have to obey him if you don't want to. But guess what? I'm gonna, you're going to get off of my wings. <laughs> I'm going to carry your disobedient spirit on me. Mm -hmm. That's, he, he can't read, that, read that part again. If ye will obey my voice indeed. If, if you will obey. And keep my covenant. And keep my covenant. Then ye shall be a peculiar treasure mm -hmm. unto Goodbye, me buddy. above all people. You shall be a peculiar if you obey his voice. Mm. You will not look the same. You won't act the my same. Lord, Lord, you will be a Lord. different person mm. if, if you would obey him. Peculiar. Yes. My you, Lord. You, you, what's wrong with her? Oh, she, that's peculiar. That's all. <laughs> She's peculiar. I wonder what's wrong with her. Peculiar. Mm. She's a special. They say, oh, she's special. <laughs> Trying to say you're retarded. <laughs> oh, she's special. Yeah, she's special, all right. She's peculiar. She's got the anointing of God on her life. Mm -hmm. Therefore, yeah. she's peculiar. Yeah. She looks different. Yeah. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Come on, read. Read, uh -huh. read. Go to... Um, Verse 4 again and read that again and we'll be done with mm -hmm. that. Ye have seen. You saw. What I did unto the Egyptians. You saw what I did to your enemy. Have anybody realized and looked back what the enemy did for you? You look back at it and say, good God Almighty, that God took care of. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Brother Lee. And how I bear you on eagle's wings uh -huh. and brought you unto myself. And I brought you unto my Sam. God. You are mine. Good God Almighty. Come on. Now, therefore. Now, here's a promise. If. If. Ye will obey my voice indeed. Mm -hmm. And keep my covenant. Keep my covenant. Then ye shall be a peculiar treasure. Mm -hmm. A under, treasure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Under me above all people. For mm -hmm. all the earth is mine. Read that next one. And ye shall be unto me a mm -hmm. kingdom of priests. Not only that, you're going to be a priest. And a holy nation. A holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children. Here's, here's what you need to speak to them. Come on. Unto the children of Israel. All right. Hallelujah. You are a peculiar people. Mm -hmm. Some of us know you're peculiar. You don't want to realize that a lot of times around your friends that you're peculiar. You, 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 when you get on your job, you don't put, oh, that's holy sanctified. Woman. <laughs> but you are peculiar. You can't act like everybody else. I'm sorry. You can't act like them. Come, let's get down in the floor and play. What's that game of crap? Or is it crap? Jacks. Whatever. If they get down and play it. Oh, crap. And it's quieter. You're not getting down a little bit more. So what's wrong with it? Oh, he's just peculiar. And guess what? He's peculiar. And he has deep treasures down inside of his sanctified soul. And he don't go around bragging about it. He, it just is, right? It just is. You, you don't worry about bragging about the keys to the kingdom. You just got decided that, you know what, I can trust you with it. If he can't trust you, he's not going to do it. But you have to allow God to come into your heart so he can learn. You can learn of him and trust him. Read 1 Samuel. I just got two more to go. 9 and 9. 1 Samuel. 
Thank you, Jesus. You've got to go up. You can't stay where you are. You at the very impasse where things great can happen to you if you just spend time with God. Something good is going to happen to you. Take my word for it. It's, it we just read it, right? You don't have to take my word. Take God's word for it. Because that's what he said. Samuel, 1 Samuel 9 and 9, please. And this is about Saul, who Samuel the prophet was king, was the prophet. Then he anointed Saul to be king. It's amazing. How this, I'm going to tell you a little bit. How this story started is Saul, dad, told him they had lost the cattle. And he sent Saul out to find them. And they went to other cities and other towns, and they still could not find the cattle. So they went to this town and they heard there was a prophet there. It's amazing. And this prophet would tell people just what God wanted him to say. Now read 99, please. Before time in Israel, mm -hmm. when a man went to inquire of God, mm -hmm. thus he spoke. Mm -hmm. Come and let us go to the seer. Let's go to the seer, Sister Karen. In the old times, they were called seers. But now they call them prophets My and Lord. prophetess. And a seer was those that, like Isaiah, he could look into the future to tell people what was going on. He knew about revelation. He knew about the birth of Christ before it happened. And he was a seer. And he could see into the future. Sister Karen, you same, same thing, same thing, same thing. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, glory to God. Mm -hmm. The same glory, hallelujah. The same spirit. That was all Samuel. You don't take it lightly. Mm. The same spirit of mm. being a seer is also upon you. My Lord. Read on. Read for me. For he that is now called a prophet mm -hmm. was before time called a seer. He was a seer. Mm -hmm. Now go with me to 10. I'm going to try to start at the first verse, and we're going to go to 9. We're not going to go through them all. 1 Samuel 10 and 1. And 1, please. Mm -hmm. Then Samuel took a vial of oil mm -hmm. and poured it upon his head. Jesus. And kissed him mm -hmm. and said, It is not because the Lord hath anointed thee to be captain over his inheritance. So Samuel has been up on the mountain with God. When Samuel went up in the mountain, they were waiting for Samuel to come so that he could bless the people. That was his job. They would not eat or anything till Samuel came up the mountain. Jesus. He, he would bless them. So, the, so it's saying he anointed Saul mm -hmm. to be king. Okay. All right. Now go with me to. Let's go to verse nine, please. Ten and nine. Mm -hmm. And it was so mm -hmm. that when he had turned his back to go from Samuel, mm -hmm. God gave him another heart. God, Samuel became a prophet. Just being in the presence of a prophet. Mm. The power of God that was on Samuel, it changed Saul's heart. 
when he went up one way and came back another way just by talking to the prophet. Think about it now. The power and authority that a prophet has. If you can't take it lightly. You can't play with them. When Samuel came to town, the people were afraid. And they would hide themselves. And they would ask him, are you for us? Are you against us? Because whatever Samuel said, it happened. Whatever, because he was the authority in that land. God ruled them by prophet. But they wanted a king. That right? They didn't want a prophet to tell them what to do. He said, give us a king. And he gave them a king and he turned around and told them, you know what? You want a king? Well, you're going to get what well, here's what's going to happen to him. First Samuel 8 and 7. My God. And the Lord said unto Samuel, hearken unto the voice of the people. They want a king given to them. All, in all that they say unto thee, for they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. So in other words, if you don't listen to the prophet, it's not the prophet you should be worried about. Oh it's the one that sent the prophet. Jesus. Who you got to be concerned about. Glory, glory, not the glory. prophet himself, but the one that sent her. Yes. Because you're rejecting God instead of the prophet. Yes. Make it plain. I'm telling you, be careful. Oh my God. Be careful. And then he said, according to all the works which they had done, since the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, Wherewith they have forsaken me and serve other gods and, and serve other gods to do, they also unto thee. Now, hearken unto them. My God. Don't protest of what they want. Mm. And he said, This will be the matter of the king that shall reign, in a, verse 11, that shall reign over them. He will take your sons. And you, he would take your sons and appoint them for himself. For he is chariots to be horsemen. This is how he's going to treat you. And some shall run before his chariots. He will appoint him captain over thousands and captains over fifties. And will set them to ear his ground. He's going to make them farmers. And he's going to reap a harvest, and he's going to take everything that they have. And they're going to have the instruments of chariot. He's going to make them make war instruments. Mm -mm -mm. He will take your daughters to be confectionaries oh and to be cooks and bakers. Mm. So he's going to make your daughter work in the kitchen, <laughs> and you're just going to be a cook. <laughs> and he will take your fields, what I blessed you with, and your vineyard and olive garden, and he's going to take the best of them for himself. Mm. And he will take a tip of your seed <laughs> and your vineyard and give them to his officers oh and his servants. And he will take your men servant and maid servants and your goodliest, your handsome men and your asses and put them to work. Mm. Then you're going to cry out to me <laughs> <laughs> of the king you chose, and the Lord will not hear you. Mm. So you've got to make up your mind Jesus. to follow Christ. Amen. That's all there is to it. Amen. If you can't follow Christ, then you're an enemy of God. That's all there is to it. You, God is not pleased with the things that we do. He loves us, so he don't want us to be lost. Amen. But he's not going to, he wants to take you up and use you for his glory. And you can't say it's too hard My because God. God can do anything. My God. Thank you, Jesus. It's nothing too hard for God. My God. Thank How am I going to do this? I can't do this. If God told me I need to do this, then how am I going to do it? I'm just a woman, just like anybody else. I can't do it. Oh, yes, you can. 
you can do anything that God wants you to do. Amen. Because what does he do? He supplies your needs. Everything you need in this race, God said, he supplies it. And our last scripture is Acts 7. And it's our last one. I'll let you go. <laughs> Acts 7. And I want you... And this is talking about Moses. This is what the children of Israel did. Let's start with um, 32, uh, Brother Mike, please. And we're going to go to 38, and we're done. All right, Tan. You just sit here and be quiet. <laughs> 7, 32. Uh -huh. Saying, I am the God of thy fathers, uh -huh. the God of Abraham. Come on the God of Isaac, uh -huh. and the God of Jacob. Uh -huh. Then Moses trembled and durst not behold. Come on. Then said the Lord to him, put off thy shoes, put your shoes off. from thy feet. From your feet. For the place where thou standest is holy ground. The place where you stand mm. is holy. My Lord. I have seen, I have seen the affliction of my people, which is in Egypt. And I have heard their groaning, and am come down to deliver them. And I'm come down. Mm -hmm. And now come, I will send thee into Egypt. Mm -hmm. This Moses, whom they refused, saying, Who made thee a ruler and a judge? Uh -oh. mm -hmm. The same did God send to be a ruler and a deliverer by the hand of the angel, My Lord. which appeared to him in the bush. Come on. He brought them out. After that, he has shewed wonders and signs in the land of Egypt and in the Red Sea and in the wilderness 40 years. This is that Moses, which said unto the children of Israel, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me him shall ye hear. Mm -hmm. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness with the angel. They consider that mountain a church and it was holy and the Moses had to take his shoes off how holy it was come on which spake to him in the Mount Sinai mm -hmm. and with our fathers who received the lively oracles to give unto us amen we're done amen God bless you all amen. we got time to praise the Lord it's early we need to go up. Come on. We need to go up. Man. Don't you want a miracle? Yes. Come Absolutely. on, man. God can do anything. Absolutely. If we just trust him, he can do anything. Yes. So if you want God to come down to meet you, you've got to go up. Hallelujah. In your praise, in your worship. Hallelujah. We just come off a fast and we should be ready to go up. In the name of Jesus. Come on now. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, take us higher. Thank you, Lord. Take us higher. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah,
Jesus do that, then we'll expect. That's right. We expect you to do something. Come on, and God expects it like it's me. Amen. Because realizing that you're not doing it for me, you're doing it for God. Thank you, Jesus. God is awesome. <laughs> this offering dear God 30, 60, 90, 100 fold let your people God don't want for nothing but keep them in Jesus name Amen. Amen. thank you Jesus thank you Jesus hallelujah Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Let's have a testimony. I went to get an MRI yesterday morning. You all know, if you ever had an MRI, it's loud. Mm -hmm. Bang, bang, bang. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Anyway, um, she gave me a um, headphones. Thank you, Jess. Gave me a head headphones and asked what kind of music I wanted to listen to. So my favorite testimony. And I told her gospel. So she said, Oh, we have gospel. She said, We have the Kirk Franklin Praise Station. So she put the gospel music on for me. And I was laying there and she said, You're gonna have to lay here 30 minutes. So as the, the machine went on, it was banging and clanging and banging and going on. And all of a sudden, I was listening to the music, and all of a sudden, this overwhelming feeling of worship came <laughs> over my spirit. And don't tell me that music won't minister. My Amen. Lord. And all I could do, I mean, I was laying, you know how you blink your eyes trying to keep the tears where the tears just went running. And I just laid there, and the more I listened, the more the tears were running. And I'm like, Lord, I thank you. I'm in this, this tube with all this loud noise, and all I want to do is just worship you. And as that music was ministering to my spirit, I felt like I was somewhere else. And I thank God for it because when the woman rolled, when the thing stopped and she rolled me out, she, she looked at me. I don't know what she saw, but I was wiping my tears. And she said, you did really good. And I said, I wasn't, myself, I wasn't even here. But anyway, I thank God. It took me a minute to get myself together before I could get up off the table. But because I was still overwhelmed with worship from the music that was ministering in my spirit. So I just want to give God all the glory and honor and praise and tell you Amen. that Worship works. Amen. Worship works. And Amen. Jesus will minister. Yes. To spirit. Yes. Yes. Praise the Lord. My Thank God. You, Praise Him. We want to say happy birthday to Sister Natalie and, and Sister Doris. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Sister Natalie and Sister Doris. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay. We will be having our kids' paint party. Saturday coming yes. at 1.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. And any adults that want to help out is okay. We are asking for donations of socks for all ages, hats, scarves, and sleeping bags for the homeless. 
sponsored by our Women's Fellowship, we would like them to be in by December 14th. Or and, and Sister Cheryl is heading there. Amen. We can bring them in. We'd like to have them here before December 14th. Yeah. yeah. Amen. And then we will be di distributing them to the homeless. The Women's Fellowship is sponsoring our Christmas party on December 14th. The time will be announced. We will be exchanging gifts and we are spending a minimum of $20, but you can spend as much as you want, but the minimum is 20. And we would like to draw names next Sunday. Amen? Amen. Amen. Okay. Pastor has been invited to preach at Pastor Roxy Dennis's church, which is Ambassador for Christ International Ministries, on November 24th at 4 p.m. in Berlin, Maryland. And the address is 10248 Germantown Road, Berlin, Maryland. Amen. Amen. And this Wednesday we will have Bible study at 630. There are no more announcements. Time for the benediction. May the Lord watch between me and thee Amen. when we are absent one from another. God bless you all. Amen. Have a blessed week. Pray for one another. Amen. Thank you, Lord.